on the way evil Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? It's your quiet day It's your quiet day Just killing, killing the no complaint, setting the kingdom a place. You know, yes, I won't. You know, yes, I He was just killing, killing the no complaint, setting the kingdom a place. You think they got so silent? The kingdom in this I told Tom on my son. Hope you had a wonderful night rest. I thank the gods for bringing you us into another beautiful day. You can say that again now. No, I I want to go and check my fish net. I will be back before sunset. May the gods guide you, my son. If you say...
The clouds have suddenly changed. Yes. If I'd known it was going to be like this, we would have stayed back in the farm. Mama, let me rush to the nearest brook. There's no drinking water. It's okay, my daughter. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. I'll be back early. Hurry up. The wonders of nature. Odimbe evil, evil, Odimbe evil, evil, Odimbe evil, evil, Odimbe evil. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Why are you so evil? Why are you so deathless? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? You were just killing, killing the no complaint, setting the kingdom ablaze. Kino yes, I won't. Kino yes, I did. You were just killing, killing them, no complaint. Setting the kingdom ablaze. You think the gods are silent? The kingdom in disarray. Disarray. The kingdom in disarray. Disarray. Stop! Who are you? And where do you hear from? And who are your parents? Perhaps she doesn't want the king to know where she's from. But if I may ask, why didn't you bow before the great lion of Ijirija kingdom? May my cheek take my life if I ever bow down to injustice and tyranny. What you do? Stop! Well, I admire your courage and guts. For it is said, no guts, no glory. People like you would be a good companion to royalty. And I wish to be your friend. Maybe one day, you'll be the queen of this great kingdom and be addressed as the lioness of Egyptian kingdom. Speak no such abomination, for darkness and light to will it not. You must find out who she is, where she lives, for the great lion of Egypt, the kingdom is interested. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Why are you so evil? Why are you so deathless? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Odimbe Eve Eve Odimbe Eve Eve Odimbe Eve Hey Mama do you know what happened on my way to the brook? What happened? I walked into Odinbi. Shh! How can you address the son of Ijiriji by his name? Do you want to bring doom upon this family? Anyway, what happened? Mama, 
Are you scared of him? Is he a god? He said he wants me, former, to be his companion. And I told him to his face that I will never have anything to do with a tyrant like him. You actually uttered those words to him? Of course, I did. Hey! Mama, I don't know why you are scared of him. Hey. Are you telling us that you told him this and he let you walk away? <laughs> of course. He had no choice because no one has ever spoken to him in such manners. And I did. Hmm. Honestly, Ufoma, you have to be extremely careful henceforth too. Because the Odinwe that we all know will definitely come after you. <laughs> you are scared of him. I am not scared of him. My father used to tell me that he's only a child. That fear the painted face of a masquerade. And I am not scared. Ufoma, I really like your guts. I wish I have such mind. But you really have to be careful for the volcano that will erupt soon. I've said this over and over again. I am not scared of Odinbe. And I'm so waiting for the volcano that will erupt. Hmm. Meanwhile, my friends. I have to be on my way. I have something to do for my mother. Greetings, my lord. Did you succeed? Yes, my lord. Lead the way. You mean to tell me that she said all this to him? Was she drunk or what? That's exactly the same question that I asked her. Hi. I asked that same question. Now look at me. I now live in fear. Sleepless night has become the order of the day. I'm not even feeling it. How can you sleep? Eh? How can you sleep? Honestly, this is not good at all. You have to be very careful. If not for any other thing, for the sake of your lives, you can. Yes. Yes. So. I I, I have to go live now. Eh? I will come back during dusk to see you. Uh, let, me, let me go. You want to go well, eh? Hey! Oh my God, I'm mad. Hey! 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 According to how the tale was told, Mbembe was the most beautiful maiden in the whole of Ijiriji kingdom. Because of her beauty, she was highly recognized and adored. After her death, the assistance of this tree came to life 
because it grew directly from her grave. And no leaves fall from this tree until after one full moon. And this is where the maidens also do their moonlight dance. <laughs> okay, that is all for now. I can't tell you everything today. You are the Mbembe that Idriji says today. You are the most beautiful. You are highly recognized and adored. All these attributes might be hidden, but sooner or later, they will manifest. Thank the gods that I met you. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for bringing light to my dark path. Thank you. You do not know how happy I am. Greetings, my lord. Speak. I am listening. I saw her. You saw her. I saw Uduma under the tree of Upembe Utama. This situation in which I saw them, I'm afraid they are not us. Who is that man? His face is unfamiliar. I, I don't think he is from this kingdom. Fetch me Uduma at once. Y yes, my lord. Now! This is my heart. You're welcome. Thank you. Follow me. There is something I want to show you. Did you see anything? No. Uduma! Uduma! Are you expecting anyone? No. Um, stay here. I'll be back. Greetings. No one has ever stepped upon a dangerous snake without being beaten by it. You cannot walk upon a hot coal without being hot. To what do I owe all this? You are summoned. Use your tongue to count your teeth. You know how dangerous he can be when he's been kept waiting. Wow. 
why does he want to see you? I guess it's because of you. Because of me? What have we done? Listen, this is a discussion for another day. You have to go now. I'll see you before the sun goes down. Listen, you do my Shh. Speak no further. I do not wish to keep him waiting. You have to go. I was told you were with a man a while ago. Who is he? A friend. Where is he from? Umneka. What? How dare you? How dare you? It is a tedious crime for a cockroach to be found in the maze of chickens. How dare you bring in a traitor into this land? How dare you? How dare you associate yourself with a traitor? It is a sacrilegious act. I'm sorry, my king. Gods! Go, fetch me that traitor now. sign of him. No, I think he has escaped. Let's go.
Where is he? He escaped before we got there. What? He is still in Ijiriji Kingdom. The fear of the great lion of Ijiriji Kingdom is the beginning of wisdom. Now go! Search! Every nook and cranny of this kingdom and bring him here. Now! Yes, Your Majesty. Wait! Fetch me with you, Lion of Ijiriji Kingdom. He, he's hot. Go with that. I don't know what this kingdom has turned into. I don't know why the gods have decided to be silent and allow a male mortal to maltreat their subjects. Mm. I feel for her. I can imagine what she's going to in the hands of that man that calls himself the king. But why is he so bent on making life miserable for that maiden? It is called hatred from the bone marrow. Let's go, be cool. Traitor! I know you are in there. Show yourself. I always face the wrath of the great King Odingbe, the Lion of Ejeriji Kingdom. Where is he? I know you can hear us. Show yourself or I will be glad to dismember your head from your body. Now! Where is he? Why did you want to see you? you? Listen, that is a discussion for another day. You have to leave Ijiriji now. He sent his guards to get you. Please. Why should I run? 
I have not committed any vice. Just listen to me. You are considered a traitor because you are from Omoneka. Please, just go. Are you listening to me? I have I... heard you. I will go. I have heard just you. Just go. Just take it easy. I will go. <laughs> Mama, it is only a foolish child that does not know why the mother stopped her from being part of the moonlight dance. It is better for your enemy to shout at you than to keep silent. Odumba's silence is evil. And the only way we can thwart his wrath Is by you doing something, which is go and apologize to him, ask him to forgive you. That way, we will have peace and we will not sleep with one eye open. Mama, life is live and let live. If his silence means evil, I am prepared for him, I am so waiting for him. Oh, former, oh, former. Why are you so stubborn? Mama, I'm not. I'm just supporting justice. 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 At your own detriment. Mama, I'm coming out. Mm -hmm. My name is Ajuzuku. I am from Omunakwe. I'm here to trade. Trade what? Haven't you heard about the great supreme controller? The great king of Dimbe, The mud piece and all space of the course. I am the tradition in the tradition. I am the only mother that rules above kings, immortals. And mortals, I am the great grandson of Oshimini. I, I am the grandson of Ophia and Ikuku. I am the son of Uruka Omonakwe. And I dedicated my scrotum to the goddess below. I break the laws. I make the laws. I am the tradition in the tradition. The lion that ate his prey and predators. I am the gods above all oh, goddess and gods. Hearing the name of your kingdom alone could make me kill you. What were you doing with Uduma? Just a a harmless friend with a friend whom I consider worthy. I meant no harm, but... Shut up! Are you here to trade or make friends? You're lucky. I'm in my good mood. I would have had your head for dinner. Desert my kingdom at once. Or contend We. The great lion of each rich kingdom. And I bet you the consequences and aftermath will be alarming. God! Take him out of here. Yes, Your Majesty. 
You were just killing, killing the no complain, setting the kingdom ablaze. Kino ye sound, kino ye seje. You were just killing, killing the no complain, setting the kingdom ablaze. You think the gods are silent? The kingdom in this this the kingdom in this array. This array. Hey. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Why are you so evil? Why are you so Chimo, 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 My king, my king, the lion of each rich kingdom, I beg you in the name of the gods, please, temper justice with mercy. She, she didn't mean to hurt you. She, she is for the bad child. She, she didn't know what she was doing. All oh, she did was out of ignorance. Please, please, to find it in your heart to forgive her. Please, I beg of you. When a woman fetches ant infested firewood, she should not frown when lizard comes to feast in her. Oh, she told you how she humiliated me. How she frustrated me. As she walked out on the great king of the kingdom, the great lion, what a great art of his silence. I was a slap on royalty. But I will forgive her on one condition. What is the condition, my king? That she visits my palace before sundown. She, she, she comes. She, she will. She will. I beg of you, please just forgive her. She is for the man child. Igwe, please. What has she done this time? King Godin will just left my house. Hey, what? Huh? So what happened? I bet my daughter. I pleaded with her to go and apologize to the king. She refused. She refused though. Now I'm in trouble. We are both in trouble. There is trouble. But what did the king say? What did he say when he came to your house? The king said that two former should come to the palace before the sun goes down. You know my daughter two former. Our queen my good former CJ. Our queen how stubborn she is. Would she listen? Would you former listen to me? That is the big question. Hey! Hello, Memo. But she doesn't have any choice. Huh? See, you have to relax. Huh? 
I must talk to her and make her see reasons she has to go, okay? You think you can convince her? I will try my best. Relax. Huh? Mama, you sent for me. Yes, my daughter. Are you aware of the fact that the great king came to your house today? Yes, my mother told me. And what do you say about it? Mama, nothing. Ufoma. Mama. Ijipanyage. Eh? How can you say nothing? Do you want your mother to die before her time? You know what she has been through in order to raise you up. Do you think that giving her heart attack is enough reward for her suffering over all these years? Why don't you listen to your mother? Mama, are you actually advising me to give into our king's humiliation? Come to think of it, am I the only maiden in this kingdom? Exactly, my daughter. Please, I am begging you. Just promise me that you will go and see him. If not for any other thing, for the sake of your mother. Well, if going to see him will quench his uncontrollable appetite for women, I will. But Ngodo, you have to go with me. Father, it really is indeed in great danger of the world. What do you expect, my son? When the gods do not relay messages to mankind. EGDG is an abject darkness and it's only the God's intervention. Will they ever experience good leadership and peace again? Son. Son, my son. Son? Yes. How soon, Father? Maybe when the two come out of the God's images. Trust the king so arrogant. Bow or be punished. And if I don't, <laughs> can we have privacy? Say whatever you want to say. I have things to do for my mother. I rephrase. Privacy. What do you want? What is it? I want to make you my queen. I want to make you my wife. I want you to be the owner of my soul and body. I want you to test power. Affluence. So we can rule this kingdom together forever. Your gods wants to make me to have a queen. Even when I'm not ready. But there's no complete lion without a lioness. Let us rule this kingdom together. Forever. Together. May the gods forbid me, your queen, 
A man who vandalizes people's hearts. A man who impounds people's land and their farm produce. A man who kills and instills fear in his subjects. Such a man, Odingbe, such a man will definitely face the wrath of the gods. Like I said before, and I'm still saying it again, I will never, I and mean, we will never ever be your queen. I will never be your queen. Leave my presence at once. Stop! Yes, you. Come. Come in the Yes. Please, my king. Do not think I'm the reason why she refused your proposal. Please do not harm me. I'm the only daughter of late Mazi Hufe, the great power in Tapa. And the Torah is my mother. Silence! I believe she's your friend. And you have a special way of advising her. Don't tell her if she values her life and that of her mother. Now leave my presence! <laughs> And I can feel it. Please, can you sleep over it? Sleep over what? Odimbe's proposal to Fiaqua. May the gods forbid. I cannot break a knife thinking over that evil man. Was that why you stopped me? To him. I do not wish to sleep and wake up in the arms of a beast, a sadist who derives joy in people's misfortune. I told him that we are doomed. We are finished. Gods of our land, why do you keep silent? Why do you allow the wicked to triumph and gladden over the tears of the innocent? Look at me. A poor widow. And have mercy on me. Just have mercy. Hey. Why are you doing this to your son? I've told you, I will handle him. He's poor. 
Are you seriously telling me that your former turned down the king's marriage proposal? Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh. Do you know, eh? I can't help thinking and wondering why the beast in him has not erupted against her. The Odimbo I used to know cannot take such from anyone, never in history. It is only a foolish child that does not understand why the malish child, that doesn't understand why her mother doesn't want her to take part in the moonlight dance. Hi, Adioko. I feel the tears of my fellow widow. Hey, may the gods help us. Yes. I thought he asked you never to step your feet into this kingdom. I couldn't stop thinking about you. So why did you not run when I came to tell you to? You thought I was lying that you were wanted by Odile. Omaliko, the goddess of truth. And justice never lies. I only thought it was cowardice, taking on my heels because of my fellow man. He is not a man like you. Odingwe is a beast, a bloodsucker, a murderer. All these names for just one man. Oh, I wish I could find another name to qualify his personality. Well, I'm here for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was meaning to ask. Duma. Who are you? I should be the one asking you. Who are you? Who is Aju? I am Aju. He lies. I am Aju Zogu. Don't mind him. I am Aju.
have you done? Odinwe is not a man like you. He is a beast, a murderer, and a bloodsucker. Odinwe is a beast, a bloodsucker, a murderer. All these names for just one. Oh, I wish I could find another name to qualify his personality. Wait, what on my wall? Follow me. For your life, your life is not safe here. If I must run, Oduma, it will be on one condition. Which is? Oduma, come with me. Come with me. Embrace the new life and fresh air. Stay far from that evil that calls himself king. You know that is not even possible. Loneliness has pitched a tent. It has become to me a deep black night. Dark and tangible. With no glimmer of light. No trace of light. All I see is sober, gloomy and desolate. Where only the winds can fly. Go. Go, for I have found solitude here. No. I cannot leave you so in this anguish of souls. You have to come. Why don't you do not do this impossible? You do not have friends.
I have become so lenient. Listen, woman. I give you two market days to talk to your daughter. Else, you and your entire generation shall face my wrath. I, um, I will talk to her, my king. I will talk to her. The underprivileged are the ones that abuse privilege. Beware! Be warned! Do not face the aftermath of the great lion of Egypt. Can I even just sit with them? My name is now Isikote. Uduma, please talk to me. Talk to me, please. I... I have friends. But I have not seen you with one. You have... When? And... What are their names? Tears. Sorrow. Agony. They have been my companion for more than 365 market days. The gods have not forsaken you. See freedom and justice. Why does he hate you? Are you the only maiden in this kingdom? Please talk to me. Tell me about it. How dare you rekindle a fire you know you cannot quench? Have I died with you? Have I not waited for too long? Look, Odoma. I want to give you power and flesh. I want to make you a goddess amongst your equals. Why have you become a thorn in my flesh? As far as your power and affluence is concerned, you have lost me. All I want is love and affection. I do not wish to be entangled in your darkness. I have a man. You dare choose a commander above royalty. Royalty does not move me. Excuse me. All I need is just small time. Please. Uh, but I, I tried to I tried my best to to talk with her, but she's not listening to me. Are you not her father? When a cat starts visiting a mouse for a juice, that mouse should not abuse the opportunity. Else the consequences will be unpredictable. You have the right to tell her to be with whoever you want her to be with. Talk to her. I gave you four market days. Else, 
you shall face the wrath of the great lion of Egypt, Egypt kingdom. Please, my daughter. Everybody knows this man as a very as a very wicked person. Eh? Just for the sake of peace, please. I'm your father. Father, there is no need watering a dry seed. I mean, what happens to Ikem who has been there for you and I? See, don't worry about Ikem. I will personally talk to him. Eh? Just accept to marry Odingbe. Eh? So that we have our peace, please. please My please. peace lies with Ikem. Father, everything about him enchants my heart. Odingbe should go out there and look for another maiden and let me be. He wants to dine with a leopard. But the problem here is if they understand the language of the leopard, he who must dine with the vultures must be ready to eat what it means. Now listen. I want you to go to Adume's house. I want Adume to join his ancestors today. When that is done, bring me his property. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes my, my king. king. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes my, my king. king. Uh, uh, please, myself clear. Yes, yes my, my king. king. Anybody here? Yes. Greetings, Maze Adibe. Greetings. To whom do I owe this visit? We bring you a message from the great king Odingbe, the lion of Ijeriji kingdom. Uh, yes, uh, what is the message? <coughs> so, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me get this Ikemefuna, the son of late Eche Omeka. Yes, I am. Is everything all right? It's just a message from my king.
this to me, don't do this to me again. He came and made you don't do this to me again. He came, he came. I can never be when the lion runs and comes back. It is not a sign of cowardice. He is just checking the next prey to attack. You are a coward. I am not a coward. You are a coward. I am you not. Are a coward. I am not. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward. The coward is in my chambers. No. He took away my pride. He made me his sex slave. And since then, the gods have been silent. When the gods are silent, mankind should with fear and caution. Because their time must definitely come. You were just killing, killing them and no soon no. Setting the kingdom ablaze. You think the gods are silent? The kingdom in disarray. Just disarray. The kingdom in Quite disarray. Quite your tears. Disarray. Quite your tears. <laughs>
Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? It's you cry again. It's you cry again. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? It's a fight. Might fly seven mountains, seven rivers, seven hills, but must surely end up in the mouth of the lizard. That woman and her daughter have dared me enough. I must put an end to that rubbish. Now go, fetch her and her daughter, bring them to me alive. Let me send them to their ancestors. And that will serve as an example. To all. Now go. Yes, yes, my king. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devil? Fools! Nonsense! Why are you so I owe them with the great grandson of Oshimini. The grandson of Ophiani Kuku. And the son of Omunakwe, I will never leave what is for tomorrow. Even if he takes this kingdom to be in disarray, I am spoken. I am immortal. I am the auspice of the gods. I am the custodian of the law. I am the supreme God. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Stop there! Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Why are you so evil? Move, move. Why you I so said, move! Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? You were just killing, killing the no complaint, setting the kingdom a place. Move! Kino yes, I won. Kino yes, I You were just killing, killing the no complaint. Setting the kingdom ablaze. You think the gods are silent? The kingdom in disarray. In disarray. The kingdom in disarray. Disarray. Hey. hey. Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again? Adimbe if if Adimbe if if Adimbe if if Adimbe if if Salafela Luwa Imanatiga Buka Salafela Luwa why are you so evil? Why are you so devilish? Why are you so wicked? Did you cry again? Did you cry again?
You mean he has not come to torment you again? He hasn't. He? Honestly, I'm very, very scared of that man. You know, his silence could mean evil at times. <laughs> I don't care if it means good or evil. At least I've told him my mind. Hey! What is it? Odima has taken your mother to kill. What? My mother. A child that does not know the importance of herbs. Cause it may vegetable. Today, Ungwe shall be used as an example to all of you. The old Ungwe you used to know would be a different old Ungwe today. Where is my mother? Where is my mother, you pig? Where is my mother? Hey. And I proceed. No one kills who the God has given life. Yes. Not even you, Odimwe. Who are you? What temerity? What gave you the audacity to come into my palace and speak ill things after I've spared your life? What do you know about justice? What do you know about humanity? What do you know about life? You evil. Oh, you think the gods were silent? You think the gods were blind? They were only giving you enough time to change from your evil ways. But today, your doom has caught up with you. My name is Ajuziogu. The great know. grandson of Ogidiojo. The grandson of Mbemena. The son of Elelua. Hey. Who happened to be your father's elder brother. Whom you and your evil father chased away from this kingdom many years ago. A foolish man that goes after a rabbit. Why his heart is on fire? What a great proverb. But why this proverb this morning? My brother, I summon you here for us to deliberate carefully on this very issue at hand. Before we incur the wrath of the gods. Huh? What issue at hand? Huh? The installation of the next king, of course. We have to be ready. We have to be ready before the next world festival. I mean, why? It is not supposed to be an issue. Because we all know who the next end is. Oh, yes. As you just said, it's not supposed to be an issue. Uh, but our uh, custom and tradition have we that. Any heir apparent who do not have a son will not mount the throne of Ijiriji kingdom. As you know, our late Igwe had two sons. The first one do not have a male child. Automatically, the throne moves to the second son who has a male child. So, I do not see an issue here. So, that is the way it stands. You have spoken well, my brother. 
It is our tradition. And the tradition must be kept. How do I believe? So we have to crown Iloka, the eagle second son, as the last king. Oh yes. Do we have a choice? Of course, we don't have a choice. Obi, <laughs> why are you crying? What troubles you? <gasps> I'm so sorry. Okay. I feel so guilty. <laughs> guilty about what? My inability <laughs> to give you a child <laughs> has really deprived you of your bed right. I'm deeply sorry, Mom. I am not complaining. Besides, we should pray to the gods for long life. I believe someday you shall give me a son. I am happy for my brother. Now wipe your tears. Does it intoxicate? Of course it does. So how does it feel to be a king? Oh, it feels good, brother. It really feels good. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. It is sacrilegious. It is an abomination. A taboo for that matter. How could you forcefully take away a maiden's pride right on the throne of Ijiriji? Do you want to incur the wrath of the gods? Are you not scared of the gods? Mind your language, Elelua. You are talking to your king. What stupid king are you talking about? A king who doesn't have respect for his elder brother, himself and his subjects. You just belittled yourself before the entire Egyptian by raping the maiden. As if that was not enough. You impound people's lands, animals. I ask you again. Are you not scared of the gods? What gods? Where are the gods? I am asking you, all stupid brother of mine. And who even gave you the right to question the actions of your king? Of a truth, you are my brother. I would have asked for your head. You just speak blasphemy against the gods and insult me. Many gods forbid that I, Elelua, spend a night under the same roof with whom the gods have condemned. Never! Go, coward! If you don't like my leadership, go! I don't care! Prepared. The venom of a snake 
has nothing to do with the back of the pocket. A child that dances, <coughs> dun dun ya ya. Know you full well that this is the dance of the spirits. <laughs> Who are the spirits that ask you, dun dun? If not people like me. Mm. <laughs> I shall feed your carcass to the vultures. Let's see who the vultures will feed on his hands. Ndidinkidike what did you do? What did you do? What did What is that? What does it look like? What are you doing? What does it seem like I am doing? Odomo. Take that pot back to my chambers or you shall not live to tell the story. The story has been told even before the creation of the earth. The gods knew that this was going to happen and they had a reason for it. Or didn't we? The gentle stride of a tiger does not mean that it is timid. I have religiously followed you. But today, I have decided to take revenge on you as designed by the gods.
complain Setting the kingdom my place You know yes I won't You know yes I did He was just killing Killing them no complain Setting the kingdom my place You think they got so silent The kingdom in disarray In disarray 